To enter a harvest record, the first thing you want to do is find any precision farming data and import that in first. To do that, click on Read Job Data, find your yield file from Trimble, Ag Leader, John Deere, or any other third party company, and then import that file into the software. And what will happen, it will create a job for you. And so you do have a jobs tab next to the map tab, and this has basically all the field records that you've brought in or manually created in the software. In my example today, I am going to assume I don't have any yield map to import in, so I'm going to manually do a harvest record. So to do that, I'm going to focus on the left part of my screen and select my machines. I'm going to pick my combine, my operator, and move them down to the working area. Now, you can be as very, very detailed as you want here, but for me, um, I like a lot of detail, so I'm going to include everything that was possibly used in that harvest record. And then I'm going to select the fields that I harvested with that working group. I can multi-select two fields if that same group was applied to both. But in my example here, I'm just going to focus on this 80 acre field. And I'm going to click on it and choose apply working group. And my farming window appears. A lot of this information will be filled in for you, such as the crop enterprise, the job type, um, the date, which is just basically using the uh, default date of today. And we can go ahead and change that date if it's incorrect. Um, we can go ahead here and put the number of hours that, uh, that we spent in the field. I'll type in five. Uh, the number of acres defaults to 80, which is correct. We went ahead and harvested the entire field today. Uh, the bushels per acre, we can enter in that information here and it will then tell us the total dry bushels that came off the field. Or we could do reverse and say 15,000 bushels came off the field, giving us an average bushel of, per acre of 187.5. Uh, destination, the program will keep track of inventories. So if the entire harvest went to bin number one for that field. You can go ahead and select that out if you want. Uh, or we can choose scale tickets, which I really enjoy using. Uh, the scale tickets will track each of your loads. Uh, so I will go ahead and just type in some information here uh, and fill this out. And the reason I'm going to enter some loads in here is because uh, the scale ticket process will calculate the total bushels that came off the field for me. And we'll just do a couple of these here. Keep on selecting new load. Okay. Almost done. When you're all finished here, you can pick the destination. In my example, the entire uh, scale ticket loads of all three of them went to bid number one. Hitting calculate all will calculate the dry yield. Then clicking OK takes us back to the previous screen and you can see right here that my average bushels per acre off those three loads was 49. Now if we need to add other loads simply click on scale ticket hit the new load button and we'll add just one more here Bump it up pretty high here. Okay. Looks good. So again, hit calculate all. Make sure you choose the destination and hit OK. Now that changed to 67.97 bushels per acre. So we can keep adding loads here, but uh, for this demonstration, uh, that's good enough. Uh, if you had any kind of weather information you want to fill in, that can be entered right now. I'm going to hit the OK button and we just entered our first harvest record. Now to, uh, to see some reports out of that, we can right click on the field and go to Enterprise Statement. Uh, for this field, we actually had two previous uh, farming operations done to it. One was a tillage, the other was a planting operation. And now it just added my harvest uh, job to it. So you can see it's given us a running total of our total cost and quantities. And so based off the harvest, uh, it's telling us that our break-even 
uh, price per bushel is about three dollars per bushel. We can also right click on the field, go to reports, and let's say we want to print out those scale tickets. So by scrolling down to the bottom, we can hit scale ticket report, hit OK. Uh, make sure your date range is correct. Uh, right here we just have the field number one, and I'm going to hit the uh, hit the print button. And here we can see a scale ticket report. One more report that I'd like to show you, go ahead and close out of this, is going up to accounting and then moving down to uh, inventory maintenance and reports. Uh, there's a really nice bin activity report that you can view. Uh, we'll just pick bin number one and hit print. And basically uh, it's showing us the date, the bin, the crop, and uh, basically that bin is showing all the fields that made up that bin. So it's showing us the traceability of that, uh, of that commodity.